Faisix. I was going guys. We're talking about episode 14 or episode 2 of George's Bazaar's Adventures Ocean, Stone Ocean. And I can't lie, this episode was just too fire. <laughs> but what can I see? Yo, what the Hermes sports maximum fam <laughs> like okay so we all know sports maximum sports maximum is the guy who killed Gloria okay Hermes sister and in this episode he also dies he drowns because of Hermes trapping him inside of the sewer sewage pipe so he doesn't realize this at first and he's just like going about his day just trying to get to his mission which is to go to the chapel and get this um the bone which belongs to dio which was shown by a father that he's gonna have to resurrect this person and it's much more of an experiment because i don't think he's ever done it before he's only done it with live animals or sorry corpses of animals so such as the bird or the alligator so that was the whole mission for sports maximum but obviously in this episode, he got what he deserved. Do you know what I mean? He killed Gloria, evidence shown in the episode, and Ermes put him to best of rest. Like, she put him to bed. Ermes did her thing. I didn't even think such a tribute of satisfaction of an episode towards a character would be shown in such glorious light and fashion. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's the fact, kind of feeling I was getting from watching this episode on Ermes and her game revenge for. Gloria because she was gonna blow out initially when there was too many corpses and she didn't know what like what was going on with Jocelyn. Jocelyn was basically trying to say she should get back up first before they engage with Sports Maximum but Hermes just wasn't having it and that was just the fantastic part by her. like she just knew her mission from the beginning and she just executed it. Do you know what I mean? Obviously the cause is bigger than Hermes own satisfaction of game revenge for Gloria but it's just that fam even though she's been dragged into something else there's also an individual thing about her own character that makes her her if that makes sense do you know what I mean so I know everyone's got their own um way of path of life that they have traveled through and going to travel through but at the end of the day they're gonna have to stop Dio, who's gonna be the biggest cause, as well as bring back Kujo, Jotaro, Kujo. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I want to see Dio come back. I'm not gonna lie. I think this series needs Dio. Like, who's better than Dio as an enemy? Like, that's what I want to know. And if there is, I don't know. Like, no, there isn't. They're just not. Dio is the best. Full stop. Maybe if he had a child, that's what they should do. They should bring him having a child into the series. I think that'll be much more of an interest or someone who's on the same level as him or a lover or something because maybe Dio's getting a bit too played out always having to see his face and understand that he's the main enemy of the family and like the only enemy of the family which seems to be causing problems wherever any Kujo member of the family go as well as brings other people involved in their situation of family feud so yeah man obviously the goal is to bring him back see what's the whole engagement of the um so if he resurrects cool if we see his goal achieved cool is jotaro gonna come back alive hopefully most likely come on man that guy can't die he's got star platinum with him and yeah man this episode was just great like i don't know what else to say to you except for to like and subscribe because you know this was a banging of a podcast and a video yes sir yes sir <laughs> all right it's been your boy Reese so mr 36 and whether you're watching or listening to this in the morning afternoon or evening hope you guys have a good day i'm out peace <laughs>